So you pull down and slide. Wow. <laughs> This is my new Sony FX30 with the XLR input. When I saw this camera come out, I decided this is the one I wanted to get. And this is gonna be the camera I'll probably keep for a very long time, like my A7R2. I actually sold the A7 III, the 35 Zeiss 1.4, and my 55 Zeiss 1.8 to fund this. So let's get it opened. Sony Cinemaline FX30, got a picture of the XLR unit on the camera itself. Got a front facing picture. And then on the back, we got our serial numbers and some identification labeling. It says it's E-mount. This is an APS-C camera. Now let's get it opened up and see what we got. We have the limited warranty, register your product for chance to win, reference guide, license issues. And we get some documentation talking about memory cards. Whole new game with Catalyst Browse, finally get to play with this. Lens brochure, and just a basic startup guide, interchangeable lens. We've got a USB type A to type C cord. It's a very rigid cord. Let's say Sony, it does say Sony on it. On the uh, USB part. All right, let's get down to the good stuff down here. Let's see what we got. We've got, this is the XLR unit. Yeah, paper, almost a paper type bag. Field paperish. So we've got a little cold shoe cover that covers up the protects the ports. We've got some cable clamps. We got handle audio on or off. We got a microphone clamp. Opens up, hold microphone. We have an audio selector in the back here. It says input select in three, in one, and two, in one, channels one and two. You have to learn all about that. And on this side, I'm going to peel this off. Put it on both sides. Yeah. We got input one, input two, input three, and a low cut filter for input one and two. Some empty space there. More empty space. This is right there. We gotta, we gotta ship it with the battery installed. Nope. We got, so we've got a Sony power supply. The AC adapter model number is five volt. That, this is probably the battery. There she is, battery for it. That. I'm just gonna keep this in the original box. I don't ever use them. There we go, guys. Awesome. Oh my gosh. Oh, that feels good in the hand right there. That fits my hand so much better than any of the other cameras have in the past. Wow. Oh, they ship it with the screen out too. Oh, I'm excited for this, guys. All right, let's get this box out of the way here. Put our bags back away. Cable. First things first, let's get the XLR input adapter put on. So we got our port covers.
Boy, it's almost spring loaded in those, sounds like. Now one thing I'll say, the first thing I noticed is how light this feels. It's, it's almost no weight at all. I mean, it's very, very light, light camera. I mean, it almost feels cheap. I mean, almost this feels heavier than the camera body itself. And this is the same body as the FX3. Look, it's, it's like top heavy. Without a lens on it, it wants to fall forward. Let's see what a battery does for it. Well, I don't see a door disconnect for this thing. Let's see if the battery's got any juice in it. I need a lens on this thing. It's 24105. <laughs> Feels good right there. All right, turning it on. Ah, we have a slide button. And that battery is shipped dead, guys. All right, though, got that handled. that charging. Meantime, I got a couple batteries there. It's coming to life. First setup page. Uh, before I get into the minis of this thing, my first impressions of this thing. Feels incredible. And as far as the body size, I mean, the grip is, is meant, meant for my hand there. I was a little tight on the knuckle still uh, in the lens. But I mean, if you're shooting APS-C glass, I don't think it'd ever be a problem. I, it's definitely a lens heavy camera body. It doesn't, it has a lot of weight over the front here. So a good solid feeling camera. Love the finish on it. The gray looks really, really nice. Let's go through this camera real quick before we turn anything else on. So we got a full size HDMI port. I really like that they included the, the swivel latch doors. So. My biggest complaint with the a7 III for the doors was these little floppy, dangly arm doors, and it, just, it was just horrible. This door, we've got a headphone jack and microphone jack, and on the bottom, we've got a USB-C and the standard USB uh, mini or micro, whatever it was that Sony's been using for their multi-interface tools. They're sealed up doors. They've got a rubber gasket all the way around them there. On this side, we've got the dual memory card slot doors. They're gonna pop open. Oh. There's something interesting. Mine does not open. I would think that if you pulled it, it would kind of pop open, but this one does not open. Five minutes later. So you pull down and slide. Wow. <laughs> okay, so whew, I'm used to the door just popping open. It doesn't want to do that. And if you actually look at the arrow, I guess it makes sense. It says come down and push out. So come down, push out, and it opens. And it looks like that's it. I mean, it feels good in the hand. I would definitely say the extension here would be handy for my hand. As you can see, it's kind of little, a little off there. Bring some weight back maybe. I was thinking about getting that top plate for it also. Got a joystick up on top, which is interesting, which seems to make way more sense than in any of the other cameras with it. You can like have your thumb right here controlling it if you had a monitor. Kind of like that. We've got a record button there, nice solid push record button. The back, we've got our power slide switch. We've got a mode button, very prominent buttons with, with surrounds. I really like that. Any questions you guys have about this camera, any of the operation functions, let me know what you have, questions about it, anything in more detail. I'll be happy to get back to you when I can. Like this video if you found it useful. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one. Talk to you later.